purpose in general, the concept of purpose, the concept, the idea that everything that God has created has an end goal, has an aim, has a goal in mind, has what we call a purpose. Even the things that humans create have a purpose, right? Everything has a purpose. The purpose of an acorn is to become a fully grown oak tree. The purpose of a phone is to be able to communicate. The purpose of eyes are to be able to see. The purpose of ears are to be able to hear. The purpose of a nose is to be able to smell. The purpose of hands, the purpose of feet, the purpose of legs, the purpose of a door, the purpose of sound, the purpose of a television, the purpose of a car, the purpose of a plane. You can, just when I name these things, you can already identify in your mind what the purpose of these things are. I don't even have to say it. What's the purpose of a plane? What's the purpose of a car? You already know it. I don't even have to say it. It's obvious. We know what the purpose is, right? But we know that everything you can name, every object, everything that exists that you can name has a purpose, something it is supposed to accomplish. There is nothing that just exists. Remove that notion. That is an atheistic concept. There's nothing that just exists. Everything carries an intrinsic purpose, a reason. God is the creator and everything he has created, even the things that have passed through the men or the hands of men have purpose. A phone has a purpose. A car has a purpose. A plane has a purpose. Trees have purpose. Squirrels have purpose. Humans have purpose. Wi-Fi has a purpose. What is Wi-Fi? Is Wi-Fi just a thing that's just there? No, it has a purpose. There's something Wi-Fi does. There's something a TV does. There's something a car helps us to accomplish. There's something a plane helps us to accomplish. Everything has something it is made to accomplish. What is the purpose of electricity? What is the purpose of heat? What is the purpose of air? What is the purpose of gravity? You see that? Everything. I'm just saying, I'm doing this so they can see that it is a concept that everything subjects itself to. There's nothing that was, is without purpose. So this is what is called teleology is the study of the concept of purpose. And purpose essentially is a reason or an explanation for something which serves as a function of its end, its purpose or its goal, as opposed to something which serves as a function of its cause. So teleology is just us studying the concept of purpose, the idea that everything has an end goal. It's a very powerful subject. It's a very powerful subject. Everything, take this note, everything created has a telos. The word telos is a Greek word, it just means purpose. I'm gonna use that word a lot here. Remember, the word telos means purpose. Everything created has a telos, a purpose, defined by its creator. Everything has a telos, has a purpose, defined by its creator. Whether the creator is God or man, Everything created has a purpose. So whoever created the, the phone, they didn't make the phone for nothing. The phone has a purpose. Do you know, in fact, even if they made it accidentally, it still has a purpose. You cannot, because really, technically, men don't invent anything. What happens is that everything that you see in the physical realm already existed in the spiritual realm. Remember, I did a teaching a few days ago about the spiritual realm. The spiritual realm is a world just like the physical world. It is just embodied or it spirits domicile in that world, invisible creatures. And that world existed before this world. And everything you see in this world already existed in that world. It just took for a man to manifest what already existed in the spiritual world in this world. That, that's not it's very simple, but essentially it is like, what I'm really saying is that everything you see already existed before you saw it in the earth. It just existed in a world that you couldn't see. see. And so the purpose of that thing was already defined. It just took for a man to allow it to pass through to the earth. 